On Friday night, Trump received the spookiest news of all. Special counsel Robert Mueller was going to drop his first indictments. And by the way, by the way, if Robert Mueller doesn't walk into every interrogation room saying, it's Mueller time, <laughs> he's wasting his life. <laughs> yeah, he is. Like, first thing he should do every time he walks in, just be like, hey, perp, what time is it? Oh, uh, 6.45? Wrong. It's Mueller time. <laughs> you just lied to the FBI. <laughs> so everyone was waiting to find out who was maybe going to jail, and early this morning, we all discovered. A Fox News alert. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort slapped with a 12-count federal indictment, including conspiracy against the U.S., money laundering, and failure to disclose foreign lobbying. This is a bad day for Paul Manafort. They threw the book at him. He's looking at 10 to 15 years in prison. Happy Halloween, bitch. <laughs> What a crappy day for Paul Manafort. Although at least it happened before Halloween, because now he can change his costume to sexy convict. This is good. <laughs> this is good. And it really doesn't look good. 12 counts, including conspiracy against the United States. I don't even know what that means, but it just sounds bad. So, uh, Paul Manafort has now been charged with lobbying for the government of the Ukraine and not telling the U.S. government he did this. Uh, he's also been charged with laundering tens of millions of dollars into secret foreign bank accounts in remote island nations around the world, which basically makes Manafort one eye patch away from being a Bond villain. Straight up. <laughs> and after Manafort turned himself in this morning, he pled not guilty to all charges. Which means, now we could get to see him in court. And I pray to God that he has to testify. Because we already know from the campaign that he is the world's worst liar. To be clear, Mr. Trump has no financial relationships with any Russian oligarchs. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the, our position is. I like imagining Paul Manafort trying to tell a that's-what-she-said joke. <laughs> Mr. Manafort, your prison sentence could be long and hard to handle. Mm, that, that, that's what she will, but that, that's what I... <laughs> that's what I... Say, ob that's obviously the position that, that she mentioned that. <laughs> uh. So, Robert Mueller has indicted Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, or, or as Trump's people call him, new phone, who dis? Today's announcement has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the president's campaign or campaign activity. There is absolutely nothing in these indictments that in any way involves the campaign. The president had nothing to do with coordination, collusion, or cooperation with Russia. Nobody at the campaign did that I'm aware of. Cooperation, watch out. Cooperation. Corey Lewandowski always reminds me of an angry old man speaking without his dentures. Cooperation, give me back my teeth. Now, look, now, this, this part of what everyone in Trump's camp is saying is true. It is true. None of Manafort's charges relate directly to the campaign. But I don't know if they are willfully ignoring it or are completely oblivious to what's going on here. What happened this morning wasn't just a 12-count indictment. It was Bob Mueller signaling that he's not just going after collusion, people. He'll take you down for any crime, including pre-campaign financial crimes, a.k.a. Donald Trump's career. <laughs> but I can see why Team Trump was happy with this morning's news, because at least it wasn't about them colluding with Russia. And then this happened. This is CNN Breaking News. A former foreign policy advisor to the Trump campaign has pleaded guilty to lying to FBI officials. The complaint says George Papadopoulos, he lied about his contacts with foreign nationals who had close connections to the Russian government. It's still Halloween, bitches. <laughs> Two hours after the Manafort story broke, we suddenly find out that one of Trump's campaign advisors, George Papadopoulos, was trying to connect the Trump campaign with Russian government officials who had dirt on Hillary. So now the story is back to Trump-Russia collusion. Yeah. You know what would be hilarious? Is if this news broke right as Trump was popping the champagne about the Manafort thing. He was like, yeah, the Mueller indictment has nothing to do with me. Boo! Woo! Mike Pence, come over here. Let's get them titties wet. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! 
wait, 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 wait. Another indictment? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. stop. Goddamn champagne. God, no. Stop. This is not the time, champagne. Mike Pence, dry them titties. Dry them titties. <laughs> dry them titties. And Mike Pence should dry them titties. <laughs> Because unlike Manafort's indictment, Papadopoulos' crime does relate directly to colluding with Russia, which makes his situation much more dangerous to Donald Trump, especially given this little detail. We know he's cooperating. He was actually arrested in late July, and uh, court documents say he's repeatedly been questioned by the government since then and has been providing answers. A Papadopoulos indictment has got to be the one that has, uh, has Trump world really sweating because it's a guilty plea. It directly deals with collusion, and he is cooperating. That's right, folks. It's Mueller time. <laughs>